runs deep, but did you know you can measure exactly how deep history, uh, the Ohio's history measures above and below the surface? In order to do that, we need to take a trip to the Loomis Observatory in Hudson, Ohio. In this three-room brick building with a copper dome sits an incredible piece of our state's history, the Loomis Observatory. It was built nearly 200 years ago here in Hudson, and now it's the oldest observatory still standing on its original foundation. Back in 1838, it was a pioneering force in studying the planets, the sun, and beyond. Inside the building is small, but it's big on history. The original foundation is not just anchored in the record books, its history runs deep, seven feet deep, here at Western Reserve Academy's campus. Elias Loomis wanted to guard against vibrations of the earth. One way to steady that is to make sure that it goes well into the earth. Tim Vance is the historian at the academy. He says Elias Loomis came to Ohio with a mission to build an observatory and get a better understanding of the cosmos. Elias Loomis made a tremendous difference nationally and internationally. Loomis was a 19th century rock star. He brought three different types of telescopes and a regulator clock to the observatory. This little observatory also has a hatch that opens to the sky and then you would just take these handles and move the dome around to the place on the sky that you want to look at. From Halley's Comet to thousands of stars and even storms, Loomis wrote down everything he observed. There are dozens of his letters and books dating back to the 1830s. Some are still on campus, and you can see them, even take a tour of the observatory. We have all the information on the News 5 app. I highly recommend it. A weather bureau. You know, and it wasn't just the stars that he focused on. One of the coolest part about it is Loomis also had a passion for weather. He documented the path of a violent storm through Hudson back in 1842. He wrote tons of letters to the officials back then explaining the need for weather stations and offices throughout the nation. That was 40 years before what we now know as the National Weather Service was formed. So pioneer on all kinds of fronts, guys. That is so cool.